Unitree just unveiled its newest humanoid robot, the H2, and people are calling it the most lifelike machine the company has ever built. It's taller, heavier, smoother, and honestly, a little unsettling. The H2 stands 180 centimeters tall, weighs around 70 kilos, and has a face so human that it feels like someone just walked into your living room uninvited. The demo video went viral instantly. Fully clothed, dancing, performing martial arts with perfect balance. It doesn't just move, it performs. Each step looks smooth, fluid, almost like it understands rhythm itself. Under the hood, it's powered by 31 joints, nearly 20% more than the previous model, giving it incredible precision and flexibility. Gone are the awkward pauses and jerky movements. This thing flows like a human dancer, and that's what has everyone online both amazed and uncomfortable. Unitree calls it the H2 Destiny Awakening, and that name fits perfectly. It's not just a product, it's a statement, a direct attempt to close the gap between human motion and machine intelligence. The full specs aren't out yet, but you can clearly see upgraded actuators, refined control systems, and motion planning that mimics real human biomechanics. Of course, this didn't come out of nowhere. Unitree has been inching toward this breakthrough for years. Their last robot, the H1, already made history as China's first full-sized humanoid capable of running 3.3 meters per second, faster than most people sprint. It even danced live on national television during the Spring Festival Gala. That model had a swappable 864 watt-hour battery and sensors like 3D LiDAR and depth cameras, giving it full 360-degree awareness. But the H2 takes it to another level. Its new bionic face isn't painted plastic. It can actually mimic subtle human expressions. And not everyone's comfortable with that. Some viewers said it triggered their uncanny valley reflex. One comment summed it up best. Before it came out, I was excited. Now that it's real, I'm a little scared. Still, fear or not, there's no denying Unitree's progress. They've gone from research prototypes to competing head-to-head -head with Boston Dynamics and Tesla's Optimus. What sets Unitree apart is their approach. They focus heavily on hard hardware, building fast, affordable platforms, and leave software innovation open for developers worldwide. That's why their robots are showing up everywhere, from universities and startups to industrial labs. But the H2 isn't just competition, it's symbolism. It's China saying, we can lead in humanoids too. Some online threads even called it an automation singularity. Robots now helping to build the factories that create more robots. As one Redditor put it, if you want to build a robot, you buy parts from China. Now they're building the robots too. There's no catching up. Still, opinions are divided. Some call the H2's dance routines all flash. Others say it's proof of mechanical precision under extreme conditions. Either way, this launch was about more than just performance. It was about reshaping how people see robots. By dressing it in human clothes and giving it a human face, Unitree was trying to make the uncanny feel normal. Because to live comfortably among us, robots can't look like metal skeletons. They have to look familiar. Unsettling? Maybe. But that's the future Unitree is building toward. And this obsession with realism, this push toward bionic authenticity, is fast becoming a point of national pride in China. The H2 is equal parts art, engineering, and ambition. And with Unitree already dominating the four-legged robot market, this humanoid leap feels like the start of something much bigger. Meanwhile, halfway across the world, South Africa just made history of its own. A company called BSG Technologies unveiled Iris, Africa's first AI-powered teaching robot. This isn't a gimmick, it's a full-on classroom assistant that can teach every subject from preschool to university. Even more impressive, it speaks all 11 of South Africa's official languages. Its creator, Thando Gumidi, a 31-year-old former teacher from rural KwaZulu-Natal spent eight years building it to help students in remote areas. At its official launch, Iris stunned the audience by explaining complex accounting concepts live and switching languages mid-sentence. It listens to voice commands, responds naturally, and tailors lessons for each student, a multilingual AI tutor that never needs rest. Meanwhile, in Dubai, robot dogs just stole the spotlight. At the Gaitex Global Tech Fair, China's Deep Robotics revealed its latest generation of AI-powered robot dogs, machines that can map environments, dodge obstacles, and soon make their own autonomous decisions. According to regional manager Maxim Huo, they're already being used for emergency response, security, and industrial inspection across North America, Europe, and Turkey. 